calibration of the IR is very simple, quick and easy. And all you need to do is remove, typically you do this by hand, there is a little Allen key here that if it is tightened must be loosened before these, this guard comes off, and you expose the flame arrester. You take a zeroing adapter that you should have purchased with your calibration kit, and you place that on the bottom of the sensor and secure it tightly. You'll need zero air or nitrogen or anything that doesn't uh, react with an IR sensor. Typically, uh, Delphian sells a what we call a zero gas, which is a nitrogen-oxygen mix, and it's hydrocarbon-free as well as humidity-free. And that's the important thing, that this has to be done with zero RH. And what we'll do is we'll introduce by pressing the regulator in a quarter turn and allow it to purge the sensor from the bottom up for about 10 seconds before we start the calibration. Calibration is performed with a calibration magnet, uh, which has two ends, a north and south pole, one being blue, one being red, one labeled uh, offline, the other being labeled as zero. To, to start initiating the calibration sequence, we hold the zero end, the red end, over the word zero, and we'll get a little closer view on this. Okay, we'll take the zero end, hold it over the word zero for five seconds. And that should start a calibration sequence circle to tell you that you are performing a calibration. And of course your air is on while this is being done to make sure that you've purged your optical tube. At that point you'll start seeing a countdown from 32 to zero. Uh, it takes about 30 seconds for a calibration to take effect and when it's successful you will then see the dash marks go across the display telling you that it's downloading the new calibration memory and uh, removing the old. It will show you the word done and then come back online and that completes a calibration on a Delphian IR sensor. Quite often, one of the error codes that you'll see during calibration is the requirement for putting zero air on the sensor. If the sensor is not sure that you are performing this act, then it'll warn you. So we'll start a sequence by putting again the red end of the magnet over the word zero for five seconds. We'll see the scrolling zero showing that it's in a calibration mode. And at this point, it's going to look to see if it likes the zero that it sees. At this point, you see that it says need zero gas. It doesn't like the zero background. If we were to leave this for 10 seconds or more, we would get a bad zero, as you see there. At that point, there's nothing we can do but to reset it using the blue end of the magnet over the word reset, where we'll see old zero. And we're back to its original calibration. Okay? Now, of course, I'm introducing a little bit of gas to prove that uh, the background is in fact not zero air. So we're going to try to start a calibration again. And we're going to hold the five seconds over the word zero. And you see needs zero. At this point, if we put the magnet back on within 10 seconds over the word zero, we can force the calibration to be accepted. Now, of course, what I did was wrong because I know I have gas on the sensor. But in reality, if you were sure that you had zero air, this would be OK to uh, force the calibration. Now we're going to cancel the calibration because we don't want it to accept this bad gas. We're going to put clean air on the sensor. And you'll see it goes back down to zero. And at that point, because we did a calibration already, we are pretty sure that we have a good calibration. Now we're going to put zero air 
on to get our zero, and now we're going to put on 50% methane. Even though we don't need to do this, a lot of people like to prove that they're seeing gas and they get the right concentration. Now because we're forcing the gas in at a very high speed, the extrapolation factor of software allows it to go up to 100%, but as soon as the gas stabilizes out, we get the reading of 50% as we expected because we just calibrated. Uh, this unit has a low and a high alarm set so that it is showing you a high alarm. So if we were now to put clean air back on the unit, we'd see it go back down to zero very quickly because we're forcing air through the uh, zero adapter. But the high, because it's latching, is showing you that sometime in the past between calibration and the last time you reset it, we had a high alarm. Again, we can reset that by using the blue end of the magnet over the word reset, one second, and the high disappears.